Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking about um, fermentation. So, a fermentation is an arrangement of all part of a set of objects. So, therefore, we are concerned in the arrangement of, ha of a certain set of objects. Okay, so for a non-negative integer, so we have n, and n exclamation point is called as n factorial so it is defined as n factorial is equals to n times n minus 1 so on and so forth 2 until 1 so it is a sequence of multiplication in which n is um, deducted by 1 until the 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 last part of the sequence is equal to 1 so with a special case of 0 factorial is equal to 1. So there is a derivation on why 0 factorial is equal to 1. So it is a, uh, a very good um, uh, derivation. So if you can search for that, it's, uh, it's good. I will also try to have a video on how to derive the special case in which 0 factorial is equal to 1. Okay, so the number of fermentation of n object is n factorial. Okay, so for example, we have n objects so a certain number of objects so the permutation of that so n so that will be n n p n okay so the other term for this is uh, the permutation of n objects taken n at a time so that will be n factorial or from this definition here is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 until it will become 2 and 1 okay so for example if we have let's just say if you have an example here okay so we don't have so for example we have we will need to find the permutation of an object in which there are six no six number of uh, six objects so we need also to find the permutation if all of them so if all of them if six of them are taken all at a time so this is the usual um the usual sentence or the usual phrase if we are going to have the permutation of n objects so we just have that one as n Bn. So this will be n factorial. So our n is 6. So 6 factorial. So that will be 6. 6 minus 1, that will be 5. Then 6 minus 2, that will be um, 4. So, so on and so forth. So 3, 2, 1. Okay. And this will be equal to, so let's have here our calculator. Okay, let's just show our calculator in the screen. Okay, so that will be 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. You want to have times 1 because any number multiplied by 1 is, is equal to the number. So that will be 720. So we have 720 ways. Okay, so that will be our answer okay so there is also a shortcut in our calculator so let's just bring back our calculator okay so if you have a this type of calculator a Casio calculator so the the factorial is this one you have the x factorial over here or the or the button is of x to the power of negative one or the inverse so for example you have six so you just shift or second function if you're not using Casio, then x to the power of negative one and that will be equal to 720 so you have the same answer in our uh, problem here then we have also a shortcut for uh, a calculator shortcut for um fermentation in the calculator so we have here this one, the NPR. So the the second function above the the multiply or the mo multiplication button. So NPR. So our R here because we are NPN. This is 
permutation of n objects taken all of our time all all at time so our r is also equal to n so we just input 6 then we have shift the button for time so in the in the screen it will appear p then you also input the n or which is also equal to 6 and equals and you have 720 so that is how you will have the fermentation using your calculator okay so let's proceed to another problem or another topic rather so we have the number of fermentation of n distinct objects taking are at a time okay so in this um, situation or in this um, condition you have n distinct objects so n different objects so for example six colors oh no seven colors of a rainbow we have red blue green orange indigo violet and green okay so we have seven so seven now unlike the previous one which is the end permutation of objects taken all of the time so we, now we are only choosing three for example we are only choosing three um three three of them uh, three each of time of them for example we are going to have a combination of three colors where all colors is taken from the color of the rainbow so that our 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 r now is equal to three okay so that is the permutation of n distinct objects taking taken r at a time so we, this is the formula for that one okay, so i believe my pointer is not Clear enough so this is the formula so we have npr is equal to n factorial over n factor n minus r factorial okay so let's have a, a problem so that we could apply this for this formula okay so in one year three awards research teaching and service will be given to a class of 25 graduates in a statistics department so if if each student can receive a at most one award how many possible selections are there okay okay so we have our solution here okay so our um, we have three distinct um, awards so our r here is equal to three we have 25 graduate students so they are also distinct so we have 25 so this is a fermentation problem so we have npr is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial so we have here our n is 25 factorial over uh, this will be 25 minus 3 factorial okay so we have 25 factorial over 22 factorial so if you are going to um, ex expound this one so we have here 25 times uh, let's just put here 25 times 24 times 23 times 22 factorial because it is up to 1 here all over 22 factorial so we could now cancel our 22 factorial so we have 25 times 24 times 23 so using our calculator so we have 25 times 24 times 23 this is equal to 13,800 uh, 13, okay so we have our answer is I believe it will not be um, okay so that will be equal to 13,800 selections okay 
Okay, so we use selections because the problem states how many possible selections. So this is our answer. So we could also use the calculator. So we will have our shortcut in the calculator. So we use the NPR. Let's just show our calculator again. Okay, so we have that will be 25. Okay, so 25 shift times so we, the p will appear then our r is 3 so we have 13,800 okay so that is the answer for this problem okay next a president and a treasurer are to be chosen from a student club consisting of people so how many different choices of officers are possible if a there are no restrictions if um, for letter b a will serve only if he is a president so at this instant we have um we have arranged our 50 students from a up to the last uh, sequence or last um last variable we could assign the all all of the students then b and c will serve together or not at all and d d and e will not serve together okay so first we will answer the first condition which is letter a so have our solution so letter a so there are no restrictions so we could have uh, we could select two distinct uh, positions the president and a treasurer so that will be um, you could have that one we could use the multiplication role in which the first uh, one is so using the multiplication rule so the number of permutation we could have that one as the first choice you have 50 then the second choice is um, we have already deducted the member who have have been elected as president so this will be 49 okay so and this will be equal to 2450 so this is the choices no? choices could use also NPR so NPR basically these are the same because the uh, the permutation is following the multiplication rule so we have 50 factorial over 50 minus 2 so our r here is 2 so we have 50 factorial 50 factorial over 48 factorial so this will be 50 times 49 and you have here times 48 factorial over 48 factorial so cancel and cancel so you have 50 times 49 so basically well, you have Will arrive with, with the same solution as this one so this will become 2450 choices so that will be for the first condition okay now we'll go to the second condition so a will serve only if he is president okay So, for example, this is the first, um, the first, the first condition. So, A will serve only as president. So, for the first instance, so we have for the first um, selection. So, we have only. Um, We have only one selection for it's just right here for the president okay president so we have only one selection for president and that will be a now for the treasurer so that will be minus the a which is selected as president this will be 49 so we have 49 selections here so this will be for if A is selected as president. Now, if A is not selected as president, therefore, he will not serve. Therefore, he will not be included in, in, the, um, 
in the selection so we have our n here will now be equal to 49 because we have deducted a so a uh, student a because student a at this instant he will not serve a will not serve as president okay so our n is only equal to 49 because if he if he if he is not selected as president he will not also want to be selected as treasurer so our permutation here so n p r is now equal to 49 factorial over 49 minus 2 factorial or that will become 49 factorial over 47 factorial so this will be 48 times 47 times oh no we'll start at 49 sorry for that so this will be 49 times 47 times 48 factorial over 48 factorial so cancel cancel so we will end up with 49 times 47 and this will be equal to so let's just have our calculator okay so we have 49 times 48 so that is equal to 2352 so 2,352 so choices so because we have two conditions here this is the first condition in which student A is elected as president so that will be our PA and this is also our second condition in which the uh, student A is not selected as president therefore he will not serve at all even if he 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 will not be also selected as treasurer so this will be our um let's see if we could we could um put could have more space here or maybe just put this one so this this could be our p not a so this is equal to 23500 at uh, 23 at uh, 2352 okay so it's just right here legibly 52 okay so if you are going to get the total number of choices here so we just have p a plus p not a so we have 49 times 2300 uh, no plus sorry for that plus plus 2352 and if you are going to use our calculator so we have so we have 49 plus 23 uh, 2352 this is now equal to 2,401 so 2,401 and we must always have our unit because the question is about choices so we have 2,401 different choices okay so you can also say that this is a fermentation because you have the term different so all of our choices are distinct from each other Okay, so that will be our answer for letter B. Now we will continue continue for letter um, C and letter D. Okay, so let's have some blank space. Okay, so we have C. The condition for C. Let's just write this one C here. Okay. The condition for C is that B and C will not serve together or not at all so they are not serving together okay so or uh, they will serve together or not at all so meaning 
B and C should be chosen um, either president or treasurer or they will not be um, chosen. The two of them or the both of them will not be chosen at all. So therefore, um, B and C should be chosen. So we need to find the number of ways that B and C could be chosen. And the next one is the number of ways that we that B and C will not occupy any of the two positions. Okay? So the first condition, so that is the permutation for uh, B and C chosen together, so that is not A but B, C. Okay, so we have two. So the the B is chosen as president and C is for treasurer or the other way around. C is treasurer, uh, C is president and B is treasurer. So this is two. Now the number of permutation in which um, B and C are not chosen. So B, permutation P not bc so this will be equal to our new npr which is our n now because these two b and c are now gone from the choices so the 50 people will now have will now be only 48 so minus 2 48 factorial over 48 minus 2 factorial same our r is 2 because we have two distinct positions Okay, so this will be 48 factorial over 46 factorial. Then this will be 48 times 47 times 46 factorial over 46 factorial. Cancel, cancel. So we'll, we'll end up with 48 times 47. So if you are going to use our calculator, it's just use our calculator shortcut in getting the permutation of objects so we have 48 of course it will have the same answer if we will input this one this one immediately okay so if we will input immediately 48 times 47 it could it will have the same answer but we will use our calculator shortcut for this one this will be equal to 2256 so this will be equal to so thank you Mr. Calculator 2,256 uh, choices okay so choices this also is choices okay so the total now so P B C plus P not BC. So these are mutually exclusive events. We'll just add the two. So two choices plus 2,256 choices. So this will be equal to um, this will be equal to 2,258. So add 2 with 2056 choices and this will be our answer okay now we will go to letter d okay where in d and e will not serve together okay so we need to find the number of permutations in which d and e will not serve together okay so first let's have that one in red okay we first consider that um, we have here we have here that um, D and E will not serve together. So therefore, they will, they will consider an instance where D is chosen and E is not. Then have also E is chosen and D is not. And the two of them are not chosen. Okay? 
So first, we'll have D is chosen. Okay, for D is chosen, so we have two positions that D could occupy, either a president or a treasurer. So that will be two. Then the remaining, because um, E will not serve if D is selected. So the our original number of um, people now is only 49 okay because he will be out of the selection because he will not be serving together with d okay but because d have been chosen for for certain position so the next position for example uh this is the position of um d so he 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 has been chosen as president so the remaining number of choices now for the position of treasurer will be the total number that could be selected minus the uh, minus the position of D or minus D and that will be 48 and this will be equal to 96 now for the if E is chosen okay, therefore D will not serve so the uh, A have two choices to be elected. He could be elected as president or treasurer. If that is so, then the remaining now choices will be 48. So same as the uh, same as the condition of D. So 48. So this this is equal to 96. Now there is also an instance in which D will not be selected. The two of them are not selected. Therefore, D will not serve together so p not d and e okay so this will be um, an npr so we have because um d and e will not select be not will not be selected so our n now is will be deducted by two so we have 48 factorial over 48 minus two so because we have same two positions and this will be equal to this one above here so this will be equal to 2256 okay so the total now let's just use the red one okay maybe we just have the blue okay so the total now is um, p uh, d plus p e plus p not D E so we have 96 plus 96 plus 2000 my plus looks like a 7 2256 okay so we will call upon our powerful calculator okay so we have 96 plus 96 plus 2256 and this will be equal to 2200 at uh, 2448 okay so it's just thank you mr calculator so that will be 2000 2400 48 choices okay so this is now our answer for letter d okay. so let's just have this one neatly underlined okay so 2248 choices if d and e will not serve together okay so that will be all about for implementation of n, uh, n things taken all at a time and n things taken are at a time so the next video we will have another type of implementation so thank you for watching and have a good day